sucker is brand new. One of his first deployments. Very first. It's brand new. It's a big job. There's a lot of ocean out there. Uh, some of it hasn't ever been surveyed, certainly not with any kind of up-to-date technology. Well, we're aboard the, uh, the NOAA ship Hassler, and uh, we are going out and doing kind of a somewhat of a shakedown cruise, testing some of the technology the ship uses. Elizabeth River is a very dynamic environment. Uh, the sands, mud in the area can shift around, uh, you know, just because of uh, currents, also uh, storms and things like that. So that's why we're continually out there resurveying the waters. Uh, we don't want one of these ships to run aground. There's a big transducer array all along the side, sends out acoustic pulses to the side wow. of the sonar as we tow it along. Um, basically, it scans to the side uh, and makes imageries of, of acoustic shadows on the floor. It's a great instrument for finding rocks, wrecks, um, obstructions, sunken airplanes, anything that's sitting on an otherwise flat, featureless seafloor, great for that. That's giving, you can start seeing the image that's developing there. That really is an acoustic image of the seabed, so you can see it's a little textured. That's likely a scour across the bottom, so it's likely uh, either a buoy block dragged in a, in a hurricane, or it might be a vessel dragging an anchor coming in to, to help slow down. So it's, it's a divot in the seafloor. President Thomas Jefferson created something called the Survey of the Coast, and its mission was to go out and measure water depths and create nautical charts based on the information. So NOAA is doing the same thing uh, now that we've been doing for over 200 years. So the technology's changed quite a bit, but the mission remains the same.